Unfortunately, we, we, he missed the second one and we got the victory. When you did have your chances in the first four games, what could you have done differently maybe to uh, insert yourself before the UCLA? I don't think I could have done anything differently. Uh, obviously, Michigan, I had a pivotal mistake, you know, throwing the screen pass, even though when it was covered, probably should have just threw that in the dirt deep in our own territory. But uh, other than that, you know, I feel like I pre played pretty solid. You know, even after that mistake uh, at Michigan, I think I led us on a 15, 16 play drive, you know, and, and ate up the rest of the clock going into the half, which, which gave us the momentum back. And uh, so, you know, just having that experience going into that game, I felt pretty comfortable going in. And, you know, I didn't feel any stage fright or anything like that. I was very confident and, and knew that we could move the balls in offense. Obviously, you want to be the starter, but if, if Wilson is still listed as the starter coming this week, how does how do you prepare yourself to kind of continue to show that, that you're ready? I just keep doing the same things I've been doing. You know, I, I feel like I've been practicing well, throwing the ball well, and um, just continue to prepare myself mentally because you never know when your time will be called. And, you know, when my time is called, I'll be ready. A lot of people say, obviously, that you can run, but you're maybe a little weaker in the passing game. What do you say to that? Uh, that just, I, uh, like I was telling somebody earlier, that just comes with the stereotype of being able to run. You know, guys are always going to have to prove people that they can throw. You know, when you're a gifted runner, that just comes with the territory. And, you know, like I said earlier, guys like Cam Newton, Colin Kaepernick, those are all guys I look up to and, and kind of embody my game after. So those are all guys, you know, when they were in college, they got questioned, you know, whether they could throw the ball or not. And now they're playing on Sunday. So it's just something that comes with it and something that you have to prove over time. You've obviously gotten a few snaps in the, the previous games, but being able to go through pretty much a full game, what was that like for you as a person? Uh, it felt pretty good. You know, the game's a lot different when you get in the flow of the game. You kind of you kind of can read people's body language a little different as far as the defensive guys. You know, obviously schematic football is, you know, it's where the people are at the time, you know, you're running the play. But as far as body language, kind of knowing how they're trying to hide stuff, how they're trying to, you know, disguise their coverages and things like that, you get a good feel for that when you're in the game. Do you see anything to a wide receiver after you throw a good pass and he just drops it? Do you try to build that confidence back up? No, no, you just, you know, say encouraging things. You know, obviously those guys are, are talented receivers and they're going to catch the ball, but sometimes they're going to make mistakes. Just like, you know, us as quarterbacks, we're going to make a bad throw every now and then. So, you know, just you try to keep encouraging and play the next play and you got to have a short memory in football. You have to play the next play and you kind of put that in the past.